Welcome once again. Right now we're at Acts chapter 11, verses 19 through 30. We're talking here about the church in Antioch. They therefore who were scattered abroad by the oppression that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, speaking the word to no one except to Jews only. Isn't that awesome. I mean, today it's the opposite, right? I mean, today it's like people are preaching to Gentiles only, or at least for the most part. We need to get back to first century Christianity. Verse 20, but there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who, when they had come to Antioch, spoke to the Hellenists, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned to the Lord. The report concerning them came to the ears of the assembly which was in Jerusalem. They sent out Barnabas as far as Antioch, who, when he had come and had seen the grace of God, was glad. He exhorted them all that with purpose of heart that they should remain near to the Lord. I mean, here it's very, very important to Barnabas that these people remain near to the Lord. You know, there's a lot of people who, you know, they come to the Lord, so to speak, and then they just kind of, you know, fall away. It's very, very important to remain near to the Lord. For he was a good man and full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and many people were added to the Lord. Barnabas went out to Tarsus to look for Saul at Shaul in Hebrew. When he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they were gathered together with the assembly. Again, the word here, assembly, is the same word church in other translations. And taught many people. The disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. Now, does that mean that there were no Christians before the church in Antioch? Of course not. You know, the way I define Christian is someone who believes that Yeshua is the Messiah and they follow the teachings of Yeshua. They live right before God according to the word of the Lord. So just because you didn't actually see the name Christian, the label Christian, doesn't mean they didn't exist before this time. It only means this is the first time they were actually labeled with this label. Now in these days, prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of them, named Agabus, stood up and indicated by the Spirit that there should be a great famine all over the world, which also happened in the days of Claudius. As any of the disciples had plenty, each determined to send relief to the brothers who lived in Judea, which they also did, sending it to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. And once again, my prayer for you is that God would enlighten the eyes of your heart, give you the spirit of revelation, so much so that next year at this time, you can look back and say, wow, I have learned so much. I have grown so much in the Lord. I have gotten so much stronger in God. Seek him and you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.